Hey guys, I hope you all are doing fine. This is Dr. Simran and you are watching Dentistry. Here at Dentistry, we are making videos on dentistry and dental related topics. If you find our videos useful, please do consider subscribing and click the bell icon so that you get updates whenever I post a new video. So today we will be discussing about the classification of local anesthesia, the comparison between esters and amides type of LA and the composition of LA. So stay tuned. So now let's see the classification of local anesthesia. Local anesthesia can be classified on the basis of the source that is natural, synthetic or others. Natural example cocaine. So synthetic is further divided as nitrogenous and non-nitrogenous compounds. Non-nitrogenous compounds example is benzyl alcohol. Benzyl alcohol is the non-nitrogenous compounds. For nitrogenous compounds, remember PARC. That is derivatives of paraminobenzoic acid which can be freely soluble like procaine and poorly soluble example benzocaine. Then derivatives of acetanilide example is ludocaine. Derivatives of acridin example bucricane. Derivatives of quinolone, example is syncocaine. So now, based upon the mode of action, they can be further classified as topical or injectable LA. On the basis of the duration of action, LA can be classified as short acting or long acting LA. So to remember the short acting LA, remember LAMP. So what is LAMP? Lidocaine. Articane, Mepivacaine and Prilocaine. Okay. For long acting, remember Beb. What is Beb? Bupivacaine, Etidocaine and Bucricane. So based upon the chemical structure, LA can also be classified as esters, amides and quinolones. So esters can be divided as esters of PABA or esters of benzoic acid. So esters of paraminobenzoic acid examples are procaine and chlorprocaine. And examples of esters of benzoic acid are cocaine and benzocaine. So a simple way to remember the esters is that they contain single I in their names. So procaine have single I, chlorprocaine have single I, likewise cocaine and benzocaine also have single I's. So they contain single I's. Now coming to the amides, so examples of amides can be lidocaine, prilocaine, Pupivacaine, Mepivacaine, Articane and likewise. And the example of quinolone is Sendbucridine. So what is the chemistry of LA? LA is composed of three parts. A lipophilic aromatic benzene ring. Aromatic benzene ring, a linker group which is a hydrocarbon and a hydrophilic terminal amine, a hydrophilic group which is a terminal amine. So the aromatic benzene is either linked to the ester or the amide. So this determines whether the LA would be the ester type of LA or the amide type of LA. So now we will see what are the difference between the esters and amide type of LA. So esters and amides differ in two important respects that is their ability to induce hypersensitivity and their pharmacokinetics that is their fate and biotransformation. So let's see one by one. So when we talk of stability, esters are less stable in solution and cannot be stored for as long as amides can be stored because they are heat stable. Okay, now coming to allergic reactions. Esters on their metabolism produces PABA. 
which is associated with the allergic reactions whereas amides rarely cause any allergic reactions so intensity and duration esters produces less intense analgesia here and for a short duration of time why is it is short because they are hydrolyzed readily in solution whereas amides produces more intense analgesia and are long lasting coming to the uses esters are used more as topical anesthesia whereas amides are used for nerve blocks and infiltrations coming to the metabolism esters are metabolized by the enzymes pseudocholinesterase so in the cases where patients have atypical pseudocholinesterase enzyme metabolic degradation of the cholinester drug is slowed down so la stays in the blood for a longer duration of time this leading to the toxicity of the la so in such cases esters la are contraindicated whereas in amides since the breakdown takes place in the liver so in patients with poor liver function amides can't be given because their level in the blood won't reduce and this will lead to toxicity so esters la are used in liver cirrhosis patients so now let's see the composition of la so first component of la is the la agent that is the lignocaine hydrochloride in dentistry we use it in 2% concentration that is 20 mg per ml when we inject la into the tissues the blood vessels dilate because the la agent have a vasodilatory effect so what happens is it increases the blood flow into the tissues leading to increased bleeding at the site of injection la is quickly absorbed into the blood stream which increases the levels of drug in the blood and thereby increasing the risk of overdose and the third thing that happens because of vasodilation is la is quickly removed from the injection site and because of this it produces less effective anesthesia so to counteract the vasodilatory effect of the la agent we need to add a vasoconstrictor so the most common used vasoconstrictor is adrenaline so adrenaline constricts the blood vessels thereby decreasing the absorption of la decreasing the plasma level of la and thereby decreasing the risk of toxicity increasing the duration of action of la and decreasing the bleeding at the site of injection but this vasoconstrictor is very unstable in solution and readily undergo oxidation in the presence of sunlight and the solution appears brown or pink in on oxidation thereby decreasing the shelf life of the la so to ensure the sufficient shelf life of la we add a substance that reacts with the oxygen before the vasoconstrictor so what is this substance it is an antioxidant that is a sodium meta bisulfite which is added which competes for the available oxygen so sodium meta bisulfite combines with the oxygen available to form sodium meta bisulfate and hence acting as an antioxidant or a reducing agent but the sodium meta bisulfate formed is acidic thereby leading to burning sensation and discomfort to the patient so now we add the isotonic solution that is a sodium chloride or normal saline or ringer solution whose ph is similar to the body fluids that is 7 to 7.4 thereby patient discomfort at the injection is minimized now we need something as a vehicle to carry this solution and for dilution so we use distilled water as the vehicle for the la solution for dilution and increasing the volume of the la next we sometimes also add weak bases that like sodium hydroxide this is added to adjust the ph of the solution because it is more acidic so if we add a weak base so that we can adjust the ph of the solution so to maintain the sterility of the solution a bacteriostatic agent is added that is the preservative and most commonly it is methyl paraben 
but methyl paraben can cause allergic reactions so instead of this chlorbutol and caprile hydrocuprino toxin is added as a preservative so sometimes what happens is there is a cloudy appearance in the la solution or whitish growth that can be seen floating in the la solution so this is nothing but the fungal growth in the la solution so to avoid that we need to add a fungicide so we add thymol as the fungicide agent so coming to the last component that is a nitrogen gas bubble oxygen is very reactive gas and leads to the oxidation of vasoconstrictor as we know that vasoconstrictor is very unstable and gets oxidized easily but nitrogen can easily displace oxygen in air due to this reason nitrogen is used to counteract the effects of oxygen so nitrogen bubble 1 to 2 mm in diameter are used to prevent oxygen from getting trapped in the cartridge and destroying the vasoconstrictor so summarizing the composition of la first of all we add the la agent that is our lignocin hydrochloride which has vasodilatory effect and increases bleeding at the site of injection and is also quickly absorbed and removed from the injection site so for which we have to add the vasoconstrictor mostly adrenaline but vasoconstrictor oxidizes easily and it decreases the shelf life of la so for that we add an antioxidant that is sodium metabisulfite this competes for the available oxygen and converts into sodium metabisulfite that is acidic and which might cause burning sensation to the patient so to neutralize the la solution saline ringer solution and a weak base is added this decreases the ph of the la solution and for dilution and to increase the volume of the solution distilled water is added and for preservation bacteriostatic agents like methyl paraben and fungicide like thymol are added so that is all about the composition of la we have discussed about the definition and mechanism of action of la in detail in a separate video if you haven't seen that you can check that on our channel I hope you like this video and if you do please show some love by giving it a big thumbs up also share it to your friends to make their life easier as well and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more such videos also any kind of feedback is highly appreciated see you until next time thank you